Okay, uh, next thing we're going to do is get it, uh, so once you collect all the apples, it moves on to the next level. Now, I've already created a second level, and here it is. I've got some more apples, a few more bombs, uh, and this is my second level. So what I want to happen is once all the apples from room 1 has been collected, then it moves on to room 2. There's a couple of things I need to uh, do in order to get this working. Uh, the first thing I need to do is I need to load up um, something to basically take to the next level. Uh, in this case, I've got a chest, uh, which is closed initially, and I've also got a sprite for it open. So the idea is that um, it's going to remain closed until all the apples are collected, and once they are, it's then going to open up. So let's get this working. So I'm going to add an object, and I'm going to call this uh, exit. I'm going to make it initially have the close sprite, and I'm going to add it to the room. So I'm going to find uh, somewhere to put it. Uh, let's see. Let's put it. Uh, let's put it there. Okay. Now, if I run the game, you'll see that it's there. Uh, but at the moment, it's going to do nothing. I'm, I'm not going to bother touching it because um, it, it's got no code. So, in order to get it to initially open up once all the apples are gone, I'm going to use a special event. And this event's called step. And what step does is it check, it runs a step code every, basically every couple of seconds. Sorry, every, uh, you know, a few times a second. Um, so, uh, I'm going to choose step and then step again. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to control. Now, under control, I've got a way of making decisions. And one of the decisions I can do is something called test instance count. So I'm going to drag that over. And test instance count sounds very complicated, but it's actually quite simple. What it does is count the number of, of objects that are on the screen of a, of a specific type. Uh, and we call an object on the screen an instance. Okay, so um, I'm going to just select Apple. So if the apple is equal to zero, then what I want to do is I want to uh, open up the box. You can change the sprite by clicking on main one, and you see this little icon here, change sprite. I'm going to drag that in, and I'm going to change it to be open. Okay, so this decision here, this test instance counts, will basically count the number of apples, and step means it because it runs every couple of, uh, you know, a few times every second, um, this means that it's going to keep constantly checking how many apples are left over. So that means the second I choose the last, or I, I pick up the last apple, the chest should flip open, ready to move on. So let's uh, test this, because testing is always good. So I'm going to try and hopefully pick up all the apples without uh, hitting the bomb. So this is the harder one. Well, I'm mucked up last time. If you watch all the tutorials, here we go. Let's enjoy a bit more of the music than normal. Maybe I shouldn't put as many apples in, but never mind. Hopefully, uh, you're enjoying this. Well, I'm not the best at review games, I'll have to admit. So, hopefully, now it should open the chest. And there you go. That's the first step. Now the chest is open. Uh, or when it is open, I want to then obviously move on to the next level. So in order to do this, I need to add events and add a collision uh, with the player. So when uh, it collides with the player, I will then want to check the instance count again. Okay, so I've got to make sure the apples are zero. Okay, otherwise uh, it will allow you to go on to the next level without collecting all the apples. So I put the test instance count back in, and then um, if I go to main one, there's an icon for next room. So I'm going to drag the next room icon in, and then I can choose 
a animation and then click on OK and that should do it now because um, because I don't really want to have to uh, do that all again I'm going to remove some apples okay I've removed some apples um, now I'm going to run the game and I pick up all the apples the chest should flip open which it does and then I click on it and there it goes to the next level now just to prove that it does work I'm going to go to the chest immediately before it flips open and hopefully it should do absolutely nothing which it doesn't so it's only when I touch it like that the last thing that we need to do is you'll probably notice that the player wasn't on the next level so what I can do is I can go to the player and click on persistent and what this will do is make the player jump to the next level so again I run it one last time and I should have the player in the next level and notice that it appears in the exact same position as it left which is the same position as the chest.